Bonnie Larrabee has been struggling with rheumatoid arthritis for 30 years. I get it anywhere from my jaw and uh, my neck, my shoulders, elbows. And, well, you know, anywhere you have a joint, I guess I, I would say I've had pain. Because arthritis pain stems from inflammation, patients like Bonnie often get relief from non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs. These include aspirin, ibuprofen, and naproxen. The non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs um, are both analgesics, that is they help pain and they are anti-inflammatory. So if you have a pain condition like bursitis or arthritis where there's an element of inflammation, then an anti-inflammatory drug will typically work better than just a pure analgesic. When I took it in the morning, I noticed about an hour or so later, I was a little looser and a little more able to get around, less pain. But after 20 years of taking NSAIDs every day, Bonnie sensed trouble. By the noon or lunchtime, my stomach would be so irritated and it would be like a, a sore feeling and then I would get bloated and then it would get crampy. Her doctor warned her that continuing to take NSAIDs might put her at risk for an ulcer or stomach bleeding. The worst risk of having a side effect of an NSAID uh, occurs with chronic daily use. Um, and the longer you take a drug, the higher the dose of the drug that you take, the more likely that you'll develop um, almost any complication, but certainly the gastric or stomach complications. The reason for this is that continuous use of NSAIDs wears down the protective lining of the digestive tract, making it more vulnerable to natural stomach acids. While typical stomach ulcers announce themselves with a burning pain in the gut, people who use NSAIDs are in danger of developing stealth ulcers. Patients may have no symptoms until the ulcer causes a frightening complication, such as obstruction, which occurs when swelling from an ulcer closes off the stomach, perforation, which occurs when stomach acids literally eat a hole in the intestinal lining, a serious condition that may require surgery, or internal bleeding, which may be life-threatening if the patient loses too much blood. Estimates are that there's over 100,000 hospitalizations every year in the United States related to this problem. The side effects of um, having bleeding ulcers and internal bleeding, you know, that can come on at any given moment and you could be totally unaware, that didn't appeal to me. So Bonnie tries to get by without pain medication most days. There. Oh, right there. <laughs> the spot. But some patients are reluctant to give up the relief they get with NSAIDs. Tom Odie is an avid golfer with arthritis in his hip. The pain of a stomach versus the ability to play golf, uh, you just weigh one against the other and, and, and golf wins. Fortunately, patients don't necessarily have to choose between living with pain or risking stomach damage. Their doctors can prescribe a second medication called a proton pump inhibitor to block the pumps that make the stomach acid. Research suggests these drugs reduce the risk of ulcers in people who take NSAIDs every day. I actually think what's happening is it's preventing the small erosions from coalescing into bigger ulcers. That makes it less of a dilemma for patients like Tom to stay in the game.